Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back, literally better than I ever would have thought. Like I am so excited to film this video, so excited. Okay, so you guys are in my bathroom with me today and we're going to do my nighttime skincare routine. I've been doing this routine for a few weeks now. I had a horrible breakout probably a month ago now, a little over a month ago, and that's when I kind of started doing this routine and it seems to have kind of got things under control. Um, I will share my morning routine here soon too. I've actually started doing stuff in the morning, but let's go ahead and start the nighttime routine before I get to rambling too much. So I'm just gonna kind of go through what I use first and then show you how all I use it. Okay, so here's our lineup here. Keep in mind, I do not use all of this every night. I'm gonna show you the frequency I use things and how I use it all in a second. But, I uh, first cleanse with my Pond's Fragrance Free Cold Cream, or I do like to use the Hot Labo Cleansing Oil. If you're looking for a cleansing oil recommendation, this one's great, I'll leave it linked down below. And then I second cleanse with my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. If you're an OG on my channel, I've been through at least like three bottles of this, I think. This is my favorite foaming cleanser ever. The Vanny Cream one is really good too, by the way. Don't mind this. This is my Japanese face masks back here and my pimple patches. Um, I don't use those every night. They're just, that's where I store them. Okay, and then I go in. I've been trying to do this every night, but of course if my face feels extra dry or sensitive, I will definitely skip this step, but I feel like it's going to help with the maintenance of my acne. I will use one of these after this CeraVe cleanser. So either my Vanny Cream Z-Bar, which is Zinc Perithion for my fungal acne breakouts, or Panoxyl, which is, I use the 4% Creamy Wash. Um, I'll leave either of these on about like two-ish minutes. I don't want to excessively dry up my face, but Seems to be fine so far. I do not use them together. I'll use one or the other. This is good for fungal acne breakouts. This is good for like hormonal breakouts or just normal pimples, things like that. So there's that. And then after I rinse those off, I go in with my Hot Labo Perfect Gel. This is a humectant, so basically it's just gonna hold on to water in your skin, which I need that after I use the actives. So I just put a little bit of that on my skin. And then I go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This just seals everything in and then I let my face dry with that on it. After this dries, I go in with one of these two products. You do not want to mix CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol or any retinol besides Adapalene. You can use that one with benzoyl peroxide. But in, in general, you don't want to mix a retinol and benzoyl peroxide leave-ons. I saw on Dr. Lee, that you can use a panoxyl or like a benzoyl peroxide wash and then put a retinol on. So that's why I've been trying this. Seems to be okay so far. Of course, if like you have irritation, stop, but seems to be okay on me so far. And they said that's a good way to get like both actives on your skin without them interfering with each other. So that's what I'm trying out for now. And then if my skin just has like a lot of bumps that hurt or like it's that time of the month and I have a lot of hormonal breakouts, I like to just skip the retinol and put my zap sit, <laughs> zap sit, and I like to put my zap sit spot treatment on them and this literally helps overnight. I'm not even kidding. It's like four bucks from Walmart. So if I'm breaking out a lot, I'll just use this instead of the retinol, but I have been trying to use this every night. I used it maybe like two to three nights a week before, but I've been trying to be consistent with this, so be proud of me. And then I just have my eye cream here. You don't need an eye cream. I use it when I think about it. I'm just trying to use it up. I don't know if I'll repurchase just because I'll probably just use a normal cream for that, but it is a good one if you want it. It has a nice end of mind for brightening effects, but feels nice, but cream works fine too. And then I have my OG CeraVe healing ointment that I'm almost out of. And I put this on my lips, my eyelids, and my eyebrows just for the heck of it. Love this stuff. It's also really nice around your cuticles or if you have dry hands or feet in the winter. Love this stuff. So let's get into showing you how I use all this. So I always put my hair back. 
I used this little headband I got from Yes Style. It was like two or three dollars. And I really like it. It seems to keep more water off of my head than just my normal headbands I used to use. That literally looks like a thong I'm holding up. It's a headband. Okay, now we'll look all crazy. Let's get started showing you how I use all this. So my first cleanse with the Pond's Cold Cream. I have freshly washed hands and I just get, I probably get too much. You probably don't need that much, but I don't like to tug on my skin. And I just rub it between my hands and start rubbing it in my face very gently. This gets any of my water resistant sunscreen throughout the day off and my mascara. Okay, I'm just gonna rub this in a minute and then remove it with a cloth. All right, so I have it pretty much all massaged in and now I wet my washcloth with warm water, not scalding hot. This is clean, I swear. It just gets stained from all the makeup. I've used this for forever. And wet warm washcloth and I just gently kind of press it on my skin and then gently wipe off all the stuff. Makeup and sunscreen, mascara. And it just gets it all off. Okay, so now I go in with my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser to get any excess residue or any excess sunscreen or mascara off. You don't want to leave the oil cleansers or cold cream cleansers any residue on your skin. This stuff is great. doesn't dry me out too bad. Okay, so all that's rinsed off. I'm going to go in with my Panoxyl tonight. Um, I used my Vanny Cream last night, so I'm going to do Panoxyl tonight. I'm trying to kind of alternate to maintain all types of my acne because I, I've got it all. I've got it all. I'm telling you. Don't have Panoxyl in your shower and then open it because it will be full of water and fall on your floor. Okay, so I just take a little bit of this. I'm just putting this all over my face, avoiding my eye area and like my mouth. But I have it pretty much all over. I'm gonna leave it for about another minute or so and then rinse this off and be right back. Okay, so directly onto my dripping wet, damp skin after washing that off. I'm putting my Holabo Perfect Gel. This is a hyaluronic acid gel. I just use a little bit. I'll show you the texture and consistency. It's like a jelly and it's a hyaluronic acid gel that's supposed to hold on to moisture in your skin. So you want to put this onto wet skin so it can have moisture to hold on to. I feel like this does really help counteract the dryness I would get from all of the actives I use. But I just get this all rubbed in really well. And then I go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion to just seal all of this in. You could literally just put your moisturizer all up under your eyes. You don't need an eye cream. Dr. Dre's taught us that from the start. We don't need eye creams, but I'm going to use one because I, I, I have it. It was CeraVe. I had to try it. Okay. I can't tell if it's upside down or not. There we go. Here she is. Here's the consistency of this. I kind of just use that amount. And I put this up under my eyes, patting and gently rubbing. And then I'm gonna actually let this dry a little bit and put my retinol on. I wait like a few minutes just till my face is pretty dry to the touch and doesn't feel tacky anymore from the moisturizer. Y'all didn't tell me I had that moisturizer not rubbed in. Okay, so I'm gonna use the retinol tonight, but if I wanted to or had like a lot of blemishes that I wanted to go on quicker I would just put the benzoyl peroxide on those areas or like the acne prone areas but I have been trying to use the retinol more so we're going to do the retinol I've been leaning more towards it my face is pretty dry now we'll show you guys the consistency I do about like that much I try to get as pea-sized amount as I can and then I just kind of dot it And rub it in avoiding my mouth and those holes and eyes 
And then after I'm done with all of that, I go with my CeraVe healing ointment as my last step and put it on my eyelids just to keep that retinol and actives off of there and my lips. So that is the routine. That's it. It's fairly simple, but it's more than what I used to do. I included that extra active in there at night with the retinol to try and calm some of this down. My face isn't doing horrible right now compared to what it was doing like two weeks ago. It was breaking out pretty bad, but most of this is flat. I have this one that's going away and this right here, but the actual texture of my skin is pretty nice. I just really struggle with post-inflammatory erythema. It just stays so red and looks like my face is just full of acne, even though it's the leftover marks. And it's definitely like not good, but it was worse a few weeks ago. So I do see slight improvement. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hope for the best. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all. I will see you guys very soon with an AM skincare routine and with some other videos. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Bye.